All right, in this video, we're gonna cover matching the, the hook to the type of fishing you're gonna be doing. And a lot of people make this way too complicated. It's actually pretty easy. And so I'll show you the different types of hooks you're gonna need. And then I'll explain to you the sizes you'll need to get depending on exactly what type of species you're going for and, and, and really how old the, the child is that'll be fishing with them. So here are the two different types of hooks. These both are circle hooks. These are J hooks. You can see there's a large size difference. Uh, these are two watt uh, size. Both of them are two watt. The trouble with hooks is that there's not uh, there's not like a requirement. So different different brands, different vendors have their two watts slightly different size. But I do like this size. If you're going to be uh, fishing with maybe an older child who's going after decent sized fish, uh, like like good sized snapper, if you're using a full shrimp, going after snapper, redfish, trout, flounder, you know anything that's you know 14 inches or more. Uh, I would say this two watt size is, is my go-to choice. Um, this is the, the, you know, the size of an average shrimp. Um, the, the hook placement up here in the top, which we'll cover next, is uh, this is just a really good size hook for a shrimp. So if you're going after a bigger size fish with a little bit older child, this would be the way to go. Uh, one of these hooks, either a two odd or one odd. Again, if you're fishing full shrimp, this size, if you're fishing half shrimp, uh, you take your hook size a little bit smaller. So the goal here is to match the size of the hook to the size of the bait that you're using. You don't, you don't match it toward the, the fish, it's always the bait. So if you're using a shrimp, a full shrimp, this two watt size is good. If you're using a half shrimp, if you're cutting shrimp off into really small chunks, go all the way down to this. So these small hooks, these are both size eights. As you can see again, they're, they're, both, they're both size eights, different manufacturers, so they're a little bit different. But uh, this is the size I use when I'm, when I'm trying to catch pinfish for bait. If I'm using little small chunks of shrimp, but I usually use just, just Berkeley gulps, chunks of gulps. So if I'm using little small chunks, in that case, I would actually just have this little sliver that you see between my hands of a shrimp. I would put that on this, that little hook and you can catch all sorts of fish. Obviously a lot of pinfish, but uh, surprisingly, even a lot of bigger fish will hit this as well. And you can, I have caught keeper size trout on these little bitty hooks. So, Again, always match the hook size to the bait. So if you're going after the small stuff, just chunk off your, your shrimp or, or gulp baits, squid, whatever type of bait you want to use, put it on a small hook and you're going to catch a ton of fish. If you, if you don't want to catch the, the small stuff, if you want to only catch the bigger ones, then use a full, sh full shrimp and use a hook that's uh, around a two watt size, uh, plus or minus, and uh, that would be the best bet. So again, just uh, recommend circle hooks for the bigger, the bigger baits, they're just safer, they're better in the environment, they're less likely to hook whoever is using them, which is a plus. And uh, here are the brands, uh, so this is a brand I was using here, this, this is a two watt from Eagle Claw, it's a good one. Um, these little gold hooks, if you're gonna go small, I recommend the gold hooks. And I'll show you just a little packet I got, these are made by Mustad, you can see uh, size eight. So the reason why I like these gold hooks is because they can be used for fishing little small chunks as well as if you don't, if you want to be uh, catching bait with a sabiki rig, and you don't have a sabiki rig, you can actually rig these up on your line, and the the good bait fish will, will eat these hooks. They'll hit these hooks. They just see that little gold uh, gold gold shimmer in the water, and they'll actually eat it. And so you can catch a ton of bait just on bare hooks. So uh, we'll cover that in a video later. But uh, that is really all you need to know on hooks. Get some circle hooks, two watts. I would say the max size for shrimp. And then if you're getting smaller shrimp or chunk it, just go down accordingly. And then if you're doing really small chunks, just go to these size eights. So that's all you need on hooks. Uh, again, it's better not to overcomplicate things and match the size of the hook to the bait that you're using. That is the most important thing. You don't have to, to always use a big hook for big fish. In many cases, you can catch a really big fish on a really, really small hook. It's all about the bait size. So if you have any questions at all, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, see you on the next video. Strong and wear the line today.